Hi everyone, welcome to Juju Living. I am Juju. Today I'm doing a special edition in English to spread the words to people around the world how to boost immune system by eating five group of foods that you could um, protect yourself against the coronavirus that is coming. Um, coronavirus originated from Wuhan, China. As uh, some of you know, I'm from China. Um, I have friends in Wuhan. I'm not from Wuhan, but I have friends in Wuhan uh, who are stuck there, who couldn't get out. I just looked at the situation this morning. Uh, there has been almost 10,000 people being infected by the virus and more than 200 dead. Um, WHO has declared a global emergency. And this virus has been spreading to uh, around the world, including Los Angeles, where I am at. There has been two cases found so far. So what can you do? So far, there is no treatment. Um, if you have a strong immune system, you may be able to defend yourself against this virus. So let me show you how to boost immune system by simply eating. Uh, if you like my video, please share and subscribe and let more people know that you can eat these foods to become healthier. Everyone knows that vitamin C can boost immune system. This is the obvious one. But do you know that actually red bell pepper has more vitamin C than lemon? Um, tomato is a great choice. And also the citrus fruits. Of course, um, orange is widely available. Um, lemon and lime are good choices of vitamin. If you have a cold, get a lemon and warm water. And broccoli and crucifix vegetables are good sources. And berries, I love berries. All sorts of berries are really good. There are other fruits that you could take for vitamin C, but they simply have too much sugar, so I don't really recommend. What you probably don't know is that 70% uh, of our immune system is actually provided by the healthy bugs living in our gut. So eat fermented foods such as yogurt, kefir. Um, make sure that you buy those that are low in sugar or make your own. I'm teaching people using Instant Pot to make your own yogurts using milk or coconut milk uh, by fermenting them for long hours, like 30 hours, and using your own choice of probiotic. You can actually buy food such as kimchi. I love kimchi. Um, buy kimchi in store, but make sure um, there's not much sugar added and there's no MSG and other preservatives. I always look at the label to see what's in, what's in the ingredients and look at the sugar content. Well, this one, for example, because I'm in the Korean market, so this is very good. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to eat loads of them. You can cook them with egg or just eat them cold like this. One thing that's very popular now is kombucha. You can see kombucha tea everywhere. They're fermented tea, but it's really hard to buy anything without sugar. I love Japanese miso and natto. Um, these are uh, fermented soybeans. You can make into soup or eat it with rice or vegetable. So look at the natto that I just bought. Uh, one pack actually has a lot. It can last me a few days. You can all obviously supplement the probiotic. I buy the ones with high dose, for example, um, 50 billion. Buy them in store, make sure they have different strains. Obviously, you want to feed the bugs, make sure they're happy. So what do they love to eat? They are the prebiotics. Garlic, onion, and leeks are the best options um, that you can put into your cooking. I always like to add garlic, green onions, or onions. Um, your healthy 
bugs love them. Look, this is I always have some onions in my kitchen. Another food that your bugs love is asparagus. You can get them everywhere. I actually miss the white one in Europe.、Um, these are, for example, artichoke is widely available. You can buy them in store. Your healthy bug love them too. Do you know dandelion? <laughs> It's actually leaves of a flower. Potato. Eat them raw or try to don't cook them too much. Do you know what this is? This is actually turmeric powder.、Uh, turmeric is the major ingredient of curry. So if you love eating curry or simply just eat turmeric, it's a good option to add prebiotic. New study has found that actually turmeric can increase the healthy bugs in your body. I love honey. I buy manuka honey from New Zealand, and they are really good for your healthy bugs. And another good one is cocoa powder. Cocoa powder has no sugar. When you buy chocolate, they add loads of sugar or milk. But this is very healthy. I put them, I eat them together with my yogurt. You can buy prebiotic fiber、uh, in store like this. So please feed your healthy bugs. And the next one, everyone, a lot of people know actually, vitamin A. Vitamin A help to build your immune system. And again, we've got. Pepper group、uh, like red,、um, tomatoes, basically vegetables that、um, rich in orange or red color.、Uh, broccoli or cruciferous vegetables are very good options. I love sweet potatoes, and this is something I put in my diet often because I'm pretty much in a low carb diet. I don't really eat much rice and wheat, so I bake. These sweet potatoes. Oh look, my dogs even love them. They can't wait.、Um, the next very good option is pumpkin. But I like this type of pumpkin. It's a Japanese version. I make them into soup. Spinach and other leafy green vegetables are always good to put in your diet, no matter what. So eat loads of them. Um, different varieties. Leafy greens are also rich in all sorts of things, vitamins and minerals. Of course, carrots is an obvious choice for vitamin A and beets as well. Vitamin D, vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin,、um, but we don't stay in the sun all the time, so、um, it's hard to get enough vitamin D from diet. What you can get is from seafood such as salmon.、Uh, you can get it from fish or shrimp. I was once low in vitamin D.、Um, what you can find out is to go do a blood test to see if you're low in vitamin D. Egg yolk is a good choice for vitamin D, so please don't throw them away. Eat them.、Um, it's still hard if you're vegeta- if you're vegetarian.、Um, mushroom is. A good choice. Luckily, there are a lot of different type of mushrooms that you can choose from. Some dairy product、uh, would say it's fortified with vitamin D, so you can try to eat some of that. I take、uh, fish oil or cod liver oil to. To get some vitamin D, but mostly you can get it from vitamin D3 supplement. I'm taking this 5,000 IU. So please do a blood test to see if you're low in vitamin D. The last one, the last group of food, is food rich in zinc. And、uh, zinc mostly come from animal products, especially oysters. Oysters has really high level of zinc.、Um, But they're hard to eat because it has shell. Who's gonna, who can crack the the shell? So I buy these in the frozen section.、Um, you can get and it has like thirty or forty small size of oyster in it. If you like beef or beef liver, you can eat them. Chicken leg has dairy. Some dairy product are okay with some zinc. But if you're vegetarian, it's really, really hard to get zinc.、Um, try to eat 
、um, beans, nuts, and seeds. For example,、uh, almond. For example, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds,、um, chai seeds. I eat a lot of pumpkin seeds myself.、Uh, pine nuts. And so I want to show you maybe、um, one thing that's、uh, one food that's really rich in zinc is chickpeas.、Uh, it's widely eaten in the Mediterranean diet. Cook. Make sure you soak them overnight and cook in pressure cooker. And I use them in salads. Or make into hummus. So, for example, black sesame seed, chai seed that I have shown here. So, seeds are a good choice, but you could supplement. Just make sure when you supplement, you don't take more than 50 mg, because you don't have too much zinc. It's not good for you either.、Um, but don't eat the supplement all the time. So. Voila! So these are the foods that you could eat. They're easily available. Buy them in store.、Uh, cook them with all the ingredients. I hope that can help you to improve your immune system, to face all the winter flu and the coronavirus that is coming to your country. Thank you very much for watching.